On this episode, we talk about Facebook Live for everybody, automating social media in 10 minutes, and Disrupt is going to ICCFA with hoverboards. Spud me. Welcome everybody to Disrupt You, episode 12. I'm your host, Ryan Thogmartin, and this is the Funeral Profession's most disruptive web show. Okay, so last episode, we announced that we are gonna be flying somebody to our office to spend a day and jam with us, talk about social, just hang out, uh, see how we do things. The, to win, you've got to guess how many Skittles on the number are in this two liter, I'm giving you hints, two liter growler. Uh, we filled it all the way up with Skittles. We have had, what, 100? 100 guesses so far. I think 101. 100, 101 guesses so far. Uh, some have been really, really, really close. Others have not even been in the correct zip code. So uh, keep guessing. We're gonna run this through the ICCFA convention and uh, hopefully somebody will guess square on the number how many Skittles are in this growler and we'll fly it to our office. Again, this is only open to viewers in the US. So somewhere in the US, uh, we'll fly you to our office. So sweet. All right, let's get into the show. Oh, spud me. So this is our last show, by the way, before the ICCFA convention. So we will be actually doing the show live at the convention through Facebook Live. And funny, we talk about Facebook Live because the first question is, really not a question, but Facebook Live for everyone. So, on Wednesday, Facebook rolled out Facebook Live to everyone, meaning that anybody with a Facebook account can live stream through the Facebook app, and it's also open to pages and groups. So groups can live stream as well, so pretty powerful. So we, you know, we first started talking about Facebook Live um, on really episode one of Disrupt You, and uh, I had made some predictions before that that Facebook Live would be a game changer in how people stream funerals. So Facebook opening up live to everyone and to businesses and to groups is huge. So some of the practical ways I envision funeral homes being able to embrace live uh, would be to do live Q&A question and answer segments on their funeral home Facebook page like this. Let's say you set a time, seven o'clock in the evening, that you are gonna be live streaming and people can ask questions through Facebook Live and you can answer them. Uh, two would be broadcasting grief uh, seminars and grief classes. So we've got a number of clients that offer weekly grief and healing seminars and classes and groups. Um, to be able to live stream that and interact and, and people not have to physically be present in the funeral home would be huge. I see groups on Facebook doing the same thing. Maybe a funeral home starts up a grief group for their community on Facebook where you come and, heal, and, and share and listen to grief and healing um, you know, discussions and you live stream through that with a grief counselor. So there are a lot of practicalities that can be used here outside of just live streaming a funeral. And one of the big uh, kind of discussion points that I had with a number of web streaming companies in the funeral profession, they said, well, what about quality? You know, Facebook isn't gonna give you the options to stream in HD and you aren't gonna be able to zoom and there's gonna be limitations with the microphone. Look, I don't think that anybody live streaming through Facebook or watching a live theme stream through Facebook is expecting it to be this massive production where audio quality is, is amazing and it's high definition video, it's freaking free. So it's not gonna be perfect every single time. When a family pays a funeral home for an HD video recording service and on demand and live, yes, it has to be for perfect because there's an exchange of money and money is valuable to people. So Facebook Live being free 
limits Facebook from having to be perfect every single time. But I do envision families live streaming things and not expecting it to be perfect. I even see funeral homes offering to live stream the funeral service to their Facebook page for people to watch live, uh, maybe through a custom app or some sort of, of, of medium like that in the near future. Um, Facebook is also rolling out some features inside of Facebook Live. They're gonna be rolling out filters, so live filters. I don't know if you're familiar with Snapchat or not. One of the big things on Snapchat is being able to add a filter to a photo. You will now be able to add filters on Facebook Live. Um, so if you've used Instagram and added a filter to your photo, it's gonna be similar to that. Um, they're also gonna add in reactions to Facebook Live, so people will be able to like and heart, and you'll see those things fly up on the screen. Um, and Facebook is gonna be extending their video metrics for Facebook Live for business pages. So pages that offer live streaming or live stream a video, they will be able to get video analytics on it. We tested it earlier today. We already have access to it through our uh, Disrupt Media Facebook page where we could see kind of peaks and valleys of how many users were on, for how long, when they dipped off, when they came back up. So very, very cool metrics that you're gonna be able to measure through insights on Facebook Live video. So um, really excited about Facebook Live. I think it is a game changer across the board because you're bringing overnight billions of people into the equation who now have the ability to live stream moments in their life that are valuable to friends, families, and to the world. Oh, and another feature that Facebook is gonna be building into the mobile app will be Facebook Live World. So you'll be able to click on a tab and you'll be able to see a world map and all of the live streams happening at that time on Facebook that are public. So you'll be able to tune in to live streams across the globe. So um, more and more connectivity happening on Facebook and is ingraining itself even deeper into our daily lives. So I'm super psyched about Facebook Live. You'll see a lot from me personally and from the brands that we operate here uh, with Disrupt Media, uh, Connecting Directors and Funeral Nation. So um, Facebook Live now open to the masses. Wait, 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 wait for it. Spud me. Very quick, quick draw. All right, social media in 10 minutes. All of us have heard the gimmick that social media can be automated. It can be done in 10 minutes a day. I had a conversation with the funeral director this week where we went back and forth on this. He said, I can just hire an office manager that's gonna manage our Facebook page to create content 10 minutes a day, be in and out. I don't need to hire a company to do it. Let me tell you this, if you can effectively manage Facebook and social media in 10 minutes a day, you're doing it wrong because it takes time, one, to create content. We're not just creating content for the sake of creating content. That's not the purpose of Facebook. The purpose of Facebook is to get attention and to get engagement. And if you're not spending time there conversating and going back and forth with your audience, you're not doing it correctly and you can't effectively do it in 10 minutes and it cannot be automated. And what I mean by automated is there's services out there that provide you the opportunity to go in, pick content, schedule that content and be done. Sure, that can take you 10 minutes and you can be out of it, but that's not doing social media. You're not scheduling content that's relevant. You're not scheduling content that is organic for your funeral home. It's more generic content and there is content like that that is valuable. However, automating it and scheduling it when there's a comment, when there's a reply and you're not monitoring that, you're totally losing the value of what Facebook and other social media platforms provide. It's the engagement and the attention that allows you to win. It's not just posting content. So social media cannot be automated. Think of it as this way. What if you automated an arrangement process? What if when you were in an arrangement room with a family, regardless of what they said, everything was automated? If they replied and asked a question, there was no answer, you went on to the next automated prompt. That's essentially what social media would be like if you automated it and didn't have the human touch involved. It's attention and it's engagement, and you need both to get each other. And the attention and the engagement is what allows you to win, not just posting content. Okay, last one, spud me. Man, I am I'm three for three again this week. I'm super stoked, matching my daughter last week. This is a self-promotion, Disrupt You at ICCFA. We are super psyched about this year's ICCFA, so you're gonna be watching this Thursday. 
We will be at ICCFA in four days. Uh, we'll arrive on Tuesday to set up our booth. The show kicks off on Wednesday. We're going much bigger this year. Um, very cool booth graphics. Couple cool things that we're gonna be doing. One, we're gonna be doing a Disrupt You episode live from our booth where we are gonna want you to come and ask questions and be live on the show. Super psyched about that. That's gonna be extremely valuable and fun. So load up your questions. We'll put out on our Facebook page and let you know when we're gonna be doing that. So make sure you're following us at facebook.com slash disruptmg. And we want you to come to our booth and ask your questions. Number two, we're gonna be giving away four $100 Facebook ad credits. So all you gotta do is give us your name and email address, either through business card or write it down. We'll put you in a drawing at random for four $100 Facebook ad credits. Our team will create the ads for you and host them, manage them, and monitor them just like you are a full-blown client. So you're gonna get to see what it's like to work with us up close, and it's not gonna cost you a nickel. How cool is that? Three, and final, we're gonna be offering a promotion during the ICCFA convention. Any funeral home that signs up or company that signs up for our services at the show will receive $1,200 in free Facebook ad credits. So $100 a month for 12 months free in Facebook ads. If you understand the power of Facebook ads, that is a huge, huge, huge giveaway. Um, and can really do a lot for your business. So we're super psyched to be able to provide that value to you as you visit our booth. We'd love to see you. We're gonna have a few of our team members there hanging out and uh, we're gonna have a few hoverboards in our booth too. So you'll come by and check out the Disrupt hoverboards. And if you see us riding around on the convention floor in a hoverboard, stop us, say hi. We wanna meet you and wanna engage with you. So. Make sure you're commenting below how many Skittles are in this two liter growler because we really, really want to fly somebody to our office to hang out and jam with us for a day. It's going to be awesome. So comment below how many Skittles are in the growler. Somebody's got to get it. It's not that hard, right? Or is it? Two liter growler. Oh, we forgot the would you rather question. Would you rather make a lot of money at a boring job or make very little money at your dream job? Answer in the comments below. Guess how many Skittles are in the growler and we'll see you at ICCFA. Keep disrupting. Oh wait, hey, don't forget, you gotta comment below and guess how many Skittles are in the growler. If you hit the number smack dab on the head and nail it, we're gonna fly you to our office to hang out with our crew for an entire day. So comment below, guess how many Skittles are in the growler. And while you're at it, subscribe. Go to YouTube and subscribe.